If you're interested in a smart lock that doesn't require internet or a smartphone app, well, this video is for you. I'm going to start with a little story. Now, when you start doing videos in earnest on YouTube, like I have for the past couple of years, companies sometimes start noticing. So they send you emails going, hey, would you like to try our free whatever thing? I did one of those videos with a, a light box thing that goes behind the TV and illuminates the edges of the TV. I didn't know what that was. So sure. And sometimes product comes along that you didn't expect. And this is one of them. So about a year ago, Brad from Stick Labs sent me an email going, hey, I understand that you normally don't reply to all these emails that come in, but hey, maybe this will interest you. And I know it's a lot to ask for a review of this, but hey, if you're interested, right? And there was a nice way of going about it. I appreciate that very much when people go, I'm not going to expect you to do everything for me, but if you'd like, here's some stuff. I said, yep, yeah, sure. I'm interested in your smart lock and we'll get to what these are and why they're so interesting. I didn't hear anything for about four or five months. And then I get another email from Brad going, hey, I'm really sorry. I haven't been back uh, with anything for you, but I realized I wanted to make it absolutely as best as I could. I wanted to make this right. So I took it all off. I redid everything and now I'm sort of ready. And then another few months went past and Brad went, all right, I think we're good. Can I send this to you now? So here we are. And it's just Brad. I think there's three people in stick last. I'm not sure, but I appreciate small companies that have an idea that want to do something different. And this is very much it. So it's called Stick Labs because they specialize in sticker solutions with stickers. And we'll get to what that means in terms of smart locks. Um, but I also appreciate good quality items. I really like, for example, my Philips Hue lights. I use them all the time because the quality is so good. Like I don't have to worry about them once I've set them up because I know they're going to work. It's the same with my Unifier stuff. All of my Unifier stuff is apart from like one door card reader here has just worked. I never do anything to them. I don't maintain them. It, some, most of it sits outside. Um, the stuff that sits inside just runs all the time. I don't have to worry. I appreciate good quality, whether it's from large or small companies, but I also appreciate new and interesting ideas. And this is one of them. Mm, I know. So these are smart locks from stick labs. And let me explain to you what they do, what I think they do. All right, so these are smart locks. Um, and when I hear smart locks, I think of uh, a lock that I can open with my app, I can open it remotely, I can check who's been in and out, there might be a pin pad on it, there's usually a, a key for when, you know, if the power goes, they're internet connected, um, all of those things. And pretty much these are none of those, apart from the key, there is a key for it. So the idea with these, these locks, work with NFC or stickers, so NFC stickers. And the idea is that you have, you know, something like this, a master, uh, which you tap on the lock and add and a remove, and that's how you add and remove users. Very simple, these are 3D printed. A lot of it is, and it's quite neat. And Brad also sent me a whole book of various stickers and things that and how it all works. So we'll work through that as well a little bit later in the video. But let me show you why I like these at first sight. So I'm just going to take one out here. And it's heavy. It's chunky. It's heavy. Here's a normal striker lock. Here is the normal catch for the striker. And here is the, the keys and a little bit of an instruction on how to install it with it. And that's it. That's all there is. Right? There's nothing special, it's just a lock. So if I take this off here, <laughs> it's stuck. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get to that when we install it. You can see inside the box, hello, there's nothing. It's just going through the door. So all the gubbins are inside these. And you can see they're a bit thicker than normal, obviously. And it says here, touch to wake. So these run just off normal batteries. And it's just a lock and it works on my door, I hope. I know we'll find out how easy it is to install, but it's just like installing any other lock on a door, um, as is most smart locks, I believe. The idea is that you install it 
and then that's it. You're good to go. You don't have to set up an app. You don't have to connect it to anything. It's not gonna be integrated with Home Assistant this time. It's just with stickers. And then you take this master, you tap it on, you tap on add, you tap on the sticker from in here that you want, and your lock is set up for you. And you just have that sticker usually on your phone or something you carry all the time. And that's what you use to open the door. So I asked Brad, well, why'd you come up with this? Like, what's the, what's the plan here? What's the idea? Because this is it's a high quality item. This is properly made. It's not flimsy. Um, it's very well manufactured. And like, what's the, what's the idea? And Brad was like, well, too much relies on connectivity. And a lot of smart locks, especially the inferior quality ones, when you uh, lose power or lose connection, it doesn't work, right? This will always work. So I'm like, okay, that's a neat idea. I like a smart lock that kind of goes against the grain, which is what this does. I've also just noticed that there's a micro USB on the bottom here. I'm not sure what that does. Well, hopefully we'll figure that out later on. Um, but I'm going to install this on a door, not this door, because it's already uh, has the unified access, but on a door on a different building where the handle is already a bit meh, it's a bit uh, broken-ish. So I'm gonna put it on that, and then once it's installed, we're gonna go through all of these things that are in here, which I'm not exactly sure what is yet, but I'll take you on the journey and we'll see if we can make it work. And then um, I'm gonna be very keen to hear your opinion on how this works and, um, and what that might be. And oh yeah, at the end, um, actually it'll be down below. There'll be a code for you to get a good deal on them because I wanna help them out with Sticklabs. Um, but let's see, let's try and install it and then we'll get to the next step. All right, so here's the uh, cottage that we're putting the door handle on. You can see this one, it's not well. So it's due for replacement anyway. So we're gonna take that off and we're gonna put this one on and then everything will be wonderful, I think. Let me just show you what's in this book um, that comes with it, or that little folder here. So we got the three master add remove. I'll explain to you in just a minute what they do. In the book, there's a, well, there's a logo. But what this has, it has some instructions on how to add and remove the access. So it's touching on the lock with the master, then with the add, and then a sticker. And I'll show you just in a second how we set that up and how to remove them as well. Then there's some timed unlock and lock. I haven't got these particular uh, tags for 12 hour unlock and lock, but you can get those as well from Stick Labs. And then there's a battery sensor that you can uh, tap on and figure out how much battery is left on the lock as well. I do have that one. It's at the back here, right there. Let's see it here. So that's the one there, you can see that. Uh, and then there is, uh, you can copy, so you can get some copy and paste tags and a little USB key, so you can actually copy all the settings from one lock to another. That's quite, quite nice because you might have many users on a lock. And then there is some uh, frequently asked questions. You know, why is it blinking blue? Well, it's because we haven't assigned anything. That's what it's doing right now. It's actually blinking blue. And you can reset the lock. And then you can uh, add multiple master sticks. You can check if an admin stick has access to a lock. Um, and you change batteries. Um, that's probably the only thing I'm a bit surprised about. If you take the batteries out, which will happen because it runs out of power, then you will factory reset the lock, it seems. So I'm not entirely sure about that, but it, that's what it seems like. 
And then we have all the user stickers here. So there's eight here, which are meant for phones and metal surfaces. And so those, the stickers, the way they work is that you have a sticker here, which is the user sticker. The idea is that you don't have an app obviously for this or anything. So you write a name here. So say you wrote Lars here, that would be my sticker for the lock. And the other side has an admin sticker. This matches or is a pair with that sticker. So these come together. That's why they're on the same card. So if I need to uh, remove access to a user that's no longer on site, so I don't want to have that sticker accessing the lock anymore, I would use the admin sticker to say, no, take that uh, away. You don't need to access that sticker because you might not have it. And similarly, if you want to grant access to a lock, well, you can use the admin sticker to grant that uh, access to that lock without needing the user to be present. So it's quite neat. So, so, so they, they come in pairs. And then there's eight of those. Then there's four similar stickers, but they're for plastic surfaces. So they have the same idea, so admin sticker on the back. And then there's four NFC tags in a, in a like a token you can put on your keychain or whatever. And they also come, of course, with an admin sticker. They're all pairs. And then there's two special ones. There's a factory reset sticker and there's a verify admin sticker. So if you do lose track of which user belongs to which admin sticker, you can use this to verify if they are a match. And then of course, this is all meant, as I said, to not have internet access, not have an app. So the idea is that you would write down the access list in this book. Um, I would probably use something Excel wise or something, I think, but that's the idea. Uh, you can write down who has access to what door. So that's the idea. And then that's it. That's all there is in the book. So let's set up a user first using these token and a user sticker. All right, so let's try and add one of the stickers to the lock. So I've got the three um, keys. Are they called keys? Sticks. Sticks from the stick lab, I guess. Um, and first off, you can see that it's blinking blue here. If it's not blinking blue, you just touch it to wake. You, with your stickers, you always have to touch it to wake it up. It's probably, I would guess, to save battery. Yeah. But I'm going to touch the master. Yep. Touch it there. Now it wakes up. Touch the master. See, it flashes more blue. I'm going to touch add. Ooh, was I quick enough? I'm not sure. Let's just try again. Ah, there we go. Yep. And see, it goes green. It's green now. And then I touch the sticker. And that should be it. Okay, so now it's locked. Let's see if it worked. I touch the sticker. So that little sticker is right there. Zzz, door is open. That's simple. That's the first time I did it, by the way. I haven't cheated. And then locks again. That's it. So now it's locked again. As soon as it locks, it uh, closes. And similarly, if you want to remove it, you know, you tap the master, always tap the master, and it goes blue, you can see there, and then you tap red, and it should probably go, I say remove, and it goes red up there, and then I'll tap that, and that should be it. So now if I tap the sticker again, it goes red. No opening. That is super simple. That's really simple, actually. Now I can also, if so, so I'm going to put this sticker on my phone, which is right here. So I'm going to add that to the back of my phone up here. That's the idea. Something you always carry, which is usually a phone, right? There it sits. And I suspect that this sticker is going to last forever. We'll see. I can't tell you that right now, obviously. But this phone always goes in my pocket and now is a sticker there. So I'm going to try add with the admin sticker like I talked about. So I'm going to go master again. Like that. I'm going to add it. So that's green. I'm going to add the master, or the admin sticker, not master, admin sticker. Tap that. Right, so now it should work the one on my phone. That's the idea, right? I'll tap the one that's on my phone. Oh, got it. There we go. That worked. So that's how you work it. That's how you use the, uh, the lock. So there's a few other stickers in here. Um, you can use the tags as well, which is maybe if you want to have it on the keychain. Um, and don't forget that there are the factory reset sticker and the verify admin sticker as well, which could be really handy. Um, but that's it. It's that simple. And of course, you know, you can add it to as many locks as you want. As many stick locks, stick lab locks, stick lab locks, stick, stick labs locks as you want. Yeah. So that's it. There's the uh, stick labs smart lock. Not needing internet, not needing an app. It's just kind of neat. I enjoy it. 
Um, Brad from Stick Labs did send me two. So I do have a second smart lock, which I'm gonna put in another door as well, because the idea being, of course, that one sticker can open multiple locks. And that brings me probably to the main hurdle that's gonna be with uh, a system like this, is keeping track of who's on first, like who has access to which door with which sticker. And yes, there is um, like a schedule supplied in here, as you can see, which will work if you keep it up to date and keep track of it. Um, I think that's gonna be the main main problem, well not problem, but the main hurdle of, of using a system like this. Um, but you know, that's just the trade-off of not having an app or having internet connection, right? But super easy to set up, it's genuinely really easy to set up. The majority of the time we spent on setting those was actually making this fit on the door. Because this is an old door, you can see it's a bit dirty, a bit rough, it's about to be renovated and painted, but we fitted the locks first, obviously, before we paint everything. Um, very easy. It did not take long to install it and, and hook it up and connect it and everything. That was really not hard, um, genuinely not hard. Um, if you'd done one, you could do the second one much quicker. No, no question about that. Um, one, <laughs> speaking of the batteries though, it's a bit, it's a bit, I don't know, it's, I think it would be a bit annoying that the fact that the factory resets when you take the batteries out when you change the batteries because if you have say you have after i filmed this i spoke to brad from stick labs and it turns out that the log does retain all the different stickers that you have assigned to it it doesn't lose it it doesn't factory reset when you take a battery out there is just one way of factory resetting it by taking the battery out and then using the factory reset sticker so there you have it it does not actually reset the lock when you take the batteries out sorry about the misunderstanding um, and it didn't come with batteries either. And I don't know if that was just me getting a review unit, but it'd be nice if they just came with like high quality batteries, you know, out of the box. Um, Cause it's a premium product. The quality is really nice. It's chunky. It sits really nicely. It's well made. Um, so yeah, just supply some batteries with it. That would be nice. Um, and it comes with a key as well. So, you know, there's a keyhole there and you can uh, unlock the door that way. Just in case it runs out of battery as well. Um, so uh, yeah, I, you can copy paste locks from one to another. I didn't get those tags, so I couldn't show you that. Uh, you can also unlock the door for say 12 hours or eight hours or four hours. I didn't get those tags either, but you can get them from Stick Labs. So that is an, an, an option as well, which would be nice if you're in a business, unlock for 12 hours and you're done, right? It automatically locks after 12 hours. So that, that would be a nice feature to have as well. Um, the locks come in um, 35 mil and 44 mil door uh, you know, thickness. That's what they're made for. So I got the 35 mil ones because most doors in Australia, for some reason, that's 35 mil. Um, but you can also get a 44 mil door as well. Um, but that's it. Uh, th yes, there is a link below that will give you a really good deal. In the description, there's a really good deal on if you want to get some of these stick lab locks for yourself. Um, I think if you, if you want that solution, no internet, no smart app, you know, if your home assistant goes down, it doesn't stop working, those sort of scenarios, then this is a really good idea. Um, I, I quite like it and we'll keep it on this door. It's not put on there for show. We will actually keep it on that door and we will use it on the phone, the sticker on the phone and to unlock it and everything. So um, thanks for watching. Again, if you have any comments, put them in the comments below. I reply to all comments that the server reply um, and give us a like and subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.